Sullivan County Schools considering changing the way it runs bus routes. Welcome into News Channel 11 at 5. I'm Sarah Diamond. The district currently uses private businesses to run those routes. It's now considering taking on the responsibility on its own to run the routes and hire bus drivers. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson sat down with school leaders to find out why they're pushing for this change. Catherine? Yeah, Sarah, last week the Sullivan County Board of Education voted to create a subcommittee that would study whether the district should run its own buses. Subcommittee co-chair Michael Hughes told me today if the, bis the district takes o on its buses, it will have better oversight. Last year we had a threat of a work stoppage, which would have left us in a bind. And a few contract disputes this year. Sullivan County Schools officials say the last several years have raised questions about whether the district should begin purchasing its own vehicles and take over hiring drivers to transport students to school. Parent Ariana Volpe says she's encountered a number of issues with the bus system over a few years. Bullying, uh, the buses maybe not even showing up or showing up way too early or um, showing up way too late, we've encountered over the years reckless drivers. But having bus drivers employed outside the system has left parents and district officials with less power to hold drivers accountable for bad behavior. Transportation Study Committee co-chair Michael Hughes says they want to empower the district to reward or punish drivers. We're just coming to the uh, realization that we need to uh, control our own destiny. Not all parents have such a negative opinion of the bus system. Everything runs pretty smooth for the most part. Either way, parents and board members say it's time to consider change, even if it means increasing costs. The district paid almost five million dollars for contracted transportation services last year. Purchasing buses and taking on bus drivers as employees could increase those costs. Can't think of anything more important <clears throat> than transportation of our children. Hughes said that he hopes to have something to present to the board this spring. I reached out to the company that the district contracts with for an interview. They declined to comment. Live in Kingsport, I'm Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you, Sarah. Katherine, thanks.